Welcome, Leo. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look, Leo, at um, what is going on for you over the next two weeks, okay, and how to help you get through this time. And um, we're going to use the Sacred Light Oracle here. And Osho is in tarot to clarify. Okay, so let's just get these here. And we'll give these a quick shuffle on Juanita. And uh, yeah, welcome. Um, just know that I do intuitively read these cards, so they might be different than what the meaning of the actual cards are. I'll just bring this closer. Um, and yeah, so let's get on to it. The other thing I want to say, Leo, is please be aware that this channel is to help you heal and to help others heal. So please share and um, like and subscribe, subscribe and comment and do all that jazz. Bit of an energy exchange as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Energy attachments. Okay, Leo, energy exchange and negative influences and self-sabotage. So I feel like, um, I feel like Leo, that you potentially, there could be people actually directing their energy onto you and this energy is attaching itself to you. You may realize this or you may not, okay? But it is impacting you, Leo, okay? Um, and this, this absolutely needs to be let go of. And I feel like this guy is standing here as though like, what, I'm not holding on to anything. What do you want about? And, and it could actually be um, things that are projected onto you, okay, from other people. Um, maybe false accusations thrown at you is the one thing I'm getting here as well. Um, I feel like this throat chakra here is red. So this could very well need clearing. Um, it may be that you need to speak your truth in some circumstances. Um, yeah, abundance. Um, so this here is um, really... Part of this, this is really interesting. <laughs> He's just like sitting here so zen like, like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> I love that. I feel like this is such an opposite energy of what is going on here. Um, and Leo, it could very well be for you that you're focusing on the, the negative energy rather than the good energy um, and really looking at your vibration and what that is emitting so to see what is coming towards you and that's not to say it's all your fault you know that people are projecting onto you um, but the, with these energy attachments you may need to focus on clearing those so raising your vibration because this guy here he knows how to do that right I mean, he's floating on a book, for goodness sakes, right? Um, so, like, he knows. He knows how to do that. So finding ways, um, maybe looking at different meditations on YouTube or something along those lines to help raise that vibration, okay, um, to clear those energy attachments for you, all right? Um, yeah, because I feel like they're weighing you down and it could very well be you don't even realize that that's happening, okay, because... You know, they could have been around for ages. Success, this is going to lead to success for you if you can actually do this. And it will help you to kind of um, gain a more positive outlook on things. Um, because at the moment, it seems like things appear quite bleak for you. Okay, well-being, really taking care of yourself. Okay, you have a, a calling. You are here for a reason. And, and this, you know, this is about taking care of yourself so you can be of service to spirit. Now, spirit is source. Okay, okay, and source resides within us. If we are a fragment of source. We are here to, for a, a reason and for a mission. And, and you can feel that, right, Leo? You know that. Deep down inside, you know that. Um, so I feel as though... Oh, 
you um, I'm going to take that second card because that just fell off not didn't jump I feel like um, this is about you needing to give yourself time to look beyond the illusion okay because this card here I feel like there's not presence it's kind of like going through life without being truly present so it's very hard to see um, how these energy att attachments have clung onto you okay so really going within look at this projection people projecting their own rubbish onto you okay it could be that you're doing the same you know this could be an energy exchange all right but um You know, you have a choice as to how, how everyone has a choice as to how they deal with things here. Because these two in the shadows here, right, this one here and this one here, they are looking angrily at one another, okay? And these two at the front here are looking at, at each other in a more loving way. So this comes across clearer, um, whereas this makes things a lot more blurry, Okay, and it's more difficult to see. So the point is that when anger is being projected out or frustration or fear or anything along those lines, um, it, it is harder to get a clearer picture and look, look beyond any illusion when one is in that state. So taking care of yourself, treating yourself, pampering yourself, this will also help you to help others, okay, around you, especially if they're younger than you, okay. Okay, so Ascension Flame, wow. Liberation, a greater sense of purpose, yep, high expectations. So this is about you finding this greater sense of purpose if you haven't already if you have found that leo it's about you being able to execute it the one thing i am getting here very very clearly is past lives okay um the other thing is that for some of you you've been really through a big battle things have been really hard and you've got the scars to prove it it's it's been tough And um, I feel like this ascension flame here is going to help you to go with them because while this person here is scarred, okay, um, and these scars are visible, this person is going within and allowing this flame to lead the way. And this will take, be, you know, give you the ability to tap in to a higher consciousness that will help you to lead the way okay because i feel like all the pieces of the puzzle have come together we have this completion card here and this cycle has completed leo and so this is about finding a new way to deal with things to go beyond the illusion okay and um and being able to close this chapter because it doesn't serve you any longer all right um traveling yeah, some of you could actually be going away um, on a trip, but I feel like this is traveling a new path, traveling and paving the way in a sense, like this could be what part of your mission is to pave the way for other people, right? And knowing because there's this, you know, you've got the ascension flame here and you've got this light that you're heading towards here. So this is the beginning of a whole new journey using a different flame for guidance, using a whole different set of values and beliefs for guidance, okay? Because the old energy attachments, they keep you stuck and still, okay? So this is really um, doing things differently to get a, a different result, okay? So energy, medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility, deep rest. So yeah, using... Um, the the universal force to to birth a new beginning or, or or help you birth this um 
this journey, oh, this, this chapter of this journey, okay, yeah, deep rest, taking the time to really, really take care of yourself so that you can grow um, and become clearer. There's nothing like, you know, sometimes, it, I don't know if you've ever had this or not, where you've had to make a decision or you're not sure what to do about something and you have, you know, go to bed at night and in the morning, thing, things just see, seem a lot clearer. Um, so that could be, you know, what you need to do, just sleep on it. And um, yeah, this is the world though. And funnily enough, I felt like this is why I had a closer look at this guy because I was like, is that the world on his face? I don't know about him, but she looks like she has the world in her hands. So this, you know, whatever your mission is, is going to have an impact on the world. And it's very crucial for you to find a way to tap within the source to tap into the source within you to be able to actually execute your mission on this earth okay because yeah you, you're pretty powerful you're pretty powerful and, and it could very well be even that that power scares you leo energy medicine tell me more about energy medicine for leo flowering this is really, I feel like this is something that is within you. Do you just know? You have this knowingness of the best thing to do or the best course of action to take. Um, <clears throat> and really looking at what it is that you want to grow and how it is that you will do that. You know, if you sit with doubt and fear and let other people project onto you, that is not going to help you to flower, okay? Um, because these two, these two are the king and the queen of pentacles in real tarot. Well, not real tarot, but, you know, in the traditional tarot deck. So, wow. This and there, they are directly one above and one below one another okay so this you know an energy medicine could very well be something that you are getting into it could be energy work of some sort okay but this is going to um you know we also have success here right this is this is something that you can absolutely once you find that component that key component and tap into that and you will know when you do because it will just feel like home you are going to be away okay and and if you have found it um you could be looking at ways that you can actually bring this out and um bring this into the world to help others so it's I, i'm so excited for you leo i'm just really excited for you um yeah yay yeah see look they're going flying so like maybe you're you're actually going to fly somewhere mortality keeping look this is you know letting your mind overpower um you know overthinking things okay it, that, that keeps you in a rut that keeps you stuck and still so um making sure that you you know take the time to really clear yourself and meditate clear your heart come into your heart okay to to clear this get beyond the illusion because these are things that, and, and this is the thing again, you just can't quite see clearly what it is, you know, how to actually get to this space, okay? Some of you may need some energy healing, you know, to clear these energy attachments, okay? So if you can find someone who would be able to do that, uh, this could be something that you're getting into, right? So, yeah, this is, but whatever, Leo, whatever it is, I'm super excited for you, wow consciousness self-awareness personal realizations and prejudice look at this card wow i love this card wow this really just touches my heart it, yeah i just feel like it's saying exactly what i've said already really coming within tapping into this universal power but also tapping into the earth some of you could be healers of the earth 
some of you could be healers of the ley lines. There could be some of you. So this is tapping into your heart, into where the consciousness resides, into where the source resides, okay, to see exactly what it is that you need to be doing. You may be needing to take care of all of those things. On one day it might be one thing, on the other day it might be the other thing, okay. You might be a healer of all things. This is about shifting this energy, okay, tapping in, becoming self-aware. The prejudice here, I feel like it could be looking at areas in your life because, at the, at, you know, we have to be honest with ourselves as well, Leo. None of us are perfect. We all have faults. We all have this shadow part of ourselves, right? And, you know, being honest about that with yourself, seeing where that is, looking at how you can improve, looking beyond that illusion, looking at what it is that you may project out there, okay, looking at your own vibration, when you're feeling down and out and feeling in that real negative mode, looking at what it is that you're projecting, yeah, so just being completely authentic, okay, with yourself, innocence, I really love this, this, this guy here is a master, at least to me, he looks like a master, right? And he has this grasshopper on his hand. And he is looking at this grasshopper, knowing that this grasshopper holds a world of knowledge. And he looks at himself as the innocent party here, who's going to learn a whole set of um, valuable... Oh, sorry, what is even the word? Like valuable wisdom from the grasshopper. So he doesn't see his, himself as the wise one. He sees the grasshopper as the wise one. Okay, and, and he also sees the innocence of the grasshopper. That there's no ego in there. There's no ego attached, you know. Um, he's looking beyond the illusion of what master means, you know, and that he is not it. It is actually the grasshopper that... Can teach him things i don't know i feel like i didn't really explain that too well but yeah um but you know this is part of this consciousness realizing that they they both have something to teach one another right um and really tapping into that anything else for consciousness for leo oh wow they're getting further and further away right now <laughs> just a minute leo okay <laughs> they're playing with me <laughs> playfulness have some fun with it, you know, have some fun with this. If you're working with energy, have some fun and see, you know, if you're trying to manifest something or create something in your life, have some fun with it, you know, be playful. It doesn't have to be all serious, okay? And this is part of this looking beyond the illusion. You can see here, he's looking at this grasshopper like, you know, this is so much fun. What are we going to learn today, you know? Um, so this is something that you can absolutely do for yourself. Galactic vibration. Oh, yes. Um, I love that this has come out. This is such a powerful reading. Like these cards are super powerful. Okay, personal conviction, raising your resilience. Yeah, direct channel. Really tapping in and and you know, Leo, go outside at night and stand and just like soak in the universe with the stars. Okay, and that really feel that that vibration from the galaxy. Okay, and bring it in through into your heart here. Um, that's going to help you really give you, it will give you a different scale of vibration. It won't just be about raising your vibration. You're going to tap into the galactic vibration, which is on a whole, that's a whole nother ball game. Okay, so this is really, and th this will help clear this energy, okay? This could be the energy medicine that you actually need. This is going to help you with this rebirth. Okay, <clears throat> because we've already got the completion here. Yeah, um, so, you know, in that regard, that's going to absolutely help you. I'm sure you had this card last time. I don't even know. Um, but anyway, I just really don't remember the readings, to be honest with you. But this will help you bring out this music that is inside of you, okay, to really tap into that vibration and raise that up towards the the um raise that ascension flame up 
you know, because this is all about ascending and helping the earth to ascend as well. And by raising our vibration, that, that helps the earth's vibration. Okay, um, so anything else for galactic vibration for Leo, please? Anything else? Mm -hmm. Thinking about it. Leo, Leo. Here we go. Patience. Know that things take time to grow. Know that you need to nurture whatever it is you are birthing, right? We have rebirth and we also have this fertility card here. Some of you could be trying for a baby, okay? But knowing things take time. Um, and I, I just, man, just look at that. Feeling that vibration come through you whoa far out that would be amazing <gasps> light activation oh my gosh leo like seriously i want to be a leo evolution of spirit actioning of plans transcendence man this is incredible i'll show you sorry i'm, I'm absorbing the the card this is incredible this is really allowing this light to come in and, and make this and, and, and transmute all this these energy attachments, these projections, anything that's holding you back, right? Really helping you to let go. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like this galactic vibration and with the ascension flame, I'm in the consciousness, like just everything, you know, I'm really not surprised that this is what it's going to create. And I feel like there's sort of like, it, it is actually going to help to um, activate those chakras to... Sorry, I'm just seeing what else is coming through here because I went to say something and I'm getting something else. It could be that you need to go and see somebody for some Reiki to get your chakras um, cleared. Okay. Um, but I feel like this light activation through doing all these things is going to help uh, actually is going to help you to shine your light in such a manner that it's I don't know, it's almost going to be blinding in a sense like there's going to be such a transcendence uh, that it's going to be so noticeable it's going to be very very crystal clear that something has changed in you and there'll be people around you who won't quite be able to put their finger on it but they'll see a difference in you whether they express that to you or not it doesn't matter because you'll feel it. You'll start to feel this clarity and this surety about yourself, okay? Turning and tapping and, you know, quietening all these outside voices, whether that's external or internal, okay? Really turning in and going within and calming everything down because these two sit in the same energy here, okay? And this is going to... Um, ignite, no, not ignite because it, it never has gone out. It's going to allow this internal light to shine so much brighter. New vision, clearing the way. It's going to make everything a lot clearer for you. You're going to be, be able to see, um, see the road ahead. You're going to be able to travel with clarity and know that you're on the, that right path, there won't be any, oh, I wonder if I'm doing the right thing, like, should I be going this way, should I be going that way, you're going to know, 100%, okay, temple secrets, interesting, secrecy, isolation, observation, ritual magic, hmm, wow, I feel like this is going to clear anything like that, because I actually feel like this kind of is the same vibe here, Okay, if you're into anything like that, it may very well be that you need to look at another way of approaching things. Um, 
temple secrets though there's ah oh, you need to tap into any gifts that you have had in a past life okay um and and looking at certain gifts and making sure that they're always used for the good okay because sometimes people use things for bad and making sure if there's anyone around you leo doing this kind of thing that you are protecting yourself um so that there is nothing that can attach onto you okay because i just feel like maybe there are people around you or even one individual who could very well not have your best interests at heart and would like to not see you succeed or move forward in your life and yeah you need to just make sure you're protected here okay so slowing down okay slowing down so you can see clearly what is ahead of you okay and making sure that you're always fully aware of this protection and what do i mean by protection imagining there's a white a bubble of pure white light around you okay you can add all the colors of a rain the rainbow one layer at a time around you and then put a thick 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 layer of white light okay um, if you feel the need to do all those otherwise you can just do white light like you're standing in it like imagine your body is pure white light fully and utterly yeah protect yourself always and the more you do that the quicker you'll get at doing it and you'll just need to split second think of it and bam you're protected okay call on your guides as well to protect you through this time some of you could be moving in silence as well some of you could be actually doing things and not letting anybody know okay um anything else with temple secrets temple secrets sharing mm. sharing okay so this is this you know like when you get to master this that you're going to be able to share this with other people um interesting there's a candle here because I feel like the sharing is about um, having the ability to grow um, that you know by sharing things that will actually allow you to grow further okay um, Archangel Michael is the last card here there's a fly in here anyway okay sorry distraction Archangel Michael heart of a warrior divine protection synchronicity calling on Archangel Michael it does not surprise me that this card has come last because this is great this is exactly what you need to finish this off Leo calling on Archangel Michael knowing that um, he is there to help and protect you as well okay and the other thing is to really look at those signs and synchronicities to ask Archangel Michael oh um please show me please show me the next step please make it clear to me you know um if you're really going inside and tapping into your heart space and and clearing your energy right bringing down that galactic vibration like tuning in with that okay then whatever signs and synchronicities are given to you you're going to see clearly so yeah okay um stress ask ask archangel michael to take the stress away to to lighten the load for you okay because um things are pretty heavy for you right now and so you know in that regard looking at how things can get heavy for you not taking too much on at once as well leo okay and that could be about sharing the load okay sharing um delegating so that you're not having to carry everything at once being honest with yourself you know um that you do you may very well need some help um yeah so because you know if you feel like you're carrying the load now 
you know, if you look at this guy here standing on this balloon and here's this monkey doing this monkey business and is about to pop the balloon and everything's going to come crashing down. And I feel like for some of you, you may feel like everything will come crashing down, right? But the thing is, when we're talking about vibration, when we were talking about it earlier and looking at how what kind of vibration you're emitting and being honest with yourself about that, tell me, Leo, what kind of vibration would you think this person would be emitting it wouldn't particularly be anything along the lines of a galactic vibration or an ascension flame right this wouldn't be an uplifted light vibration okay it would be quite heavy and so this is what you need to be honest with yourself about okay so one more card for Archangel Michael for Leo please one more not heaps more one more <laughs> oh, almost it flipped and then it went back in <laughs> okay one more i feel like also leo um is a good idea to tap into your inner knowing um for you to really become clear on um, practicing using your internal guidance system guidance system so that um you know just just start really trusting that um so things become clearer and clearer and clearer for you um but yeah change again this is a whole new cycle coming in okay and and kind of going with the flow letting things happen around you but right at the center here is this yin yang symbol completely still it is not turning and so tapping into the stillness inside of you as this change takes place okay leo i will leave that with you good luck leo um pretty exciting and don't forget to tap, in, tap into that galactic vibration if you need a reminder come back and watch this video throughout the next two weeks okay and yeah please subscribe and like and do that whole energy exchange thing that would be great take care of yourselves leo see you bye bye